Hello everyone and welcome back, Max here and today we're going to be going back to Heavy Rain. So in the last episode, what did we do in the last episode? Um, we beat some guy up and then we started looking for clues. So now we are back in the park with, I reckon he's the killer, I reckon he's had a breakdown and why would he have an origami in his hand? So we're back with Ethan Mars. I love it how detailed their faces are. Like, they've even got, like, the paw marks all over their nose and everything. So I still don't understand what the inches are. So if someone does understand what the inches are... Hungry? Do you want to eat something? Is something the matter, Sean? I know I did all this last time, but it always resets the chapter every time I go back into it. You wanna play? Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. School. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Well, it's... You're boring, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'd be the worst possible parent going. Um, do I talk to people? Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay. Seesaw. Don't I tell... I have been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! I don't know why, but I'm getting a really creepy vibe from this bloke. I think it's meant to show him as a good father, but I'm just getting a creep. I haven't seen a seesaw. That's creepy. Oh. I just think this is so creepy. <laughs> Can we? Oh God. I... What? Do... I don't. I don't get. Is it? Are we meant to be having like? Oh, what is? What are we meant to be doing? Activity. I'll find something else to do with him. Oh, not the merry-go-round. Merry-go-round. I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great. Oh, I hate merry-go-rounds. Make me feel sick. Oh, watch out, child. This is creepy. Go on, Dad, as fast as you can. Faster, faster. Come on, faster, faster. Oh, I've thrown up already. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. Do we get some food now? Candies. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Why is there a random hey, guy selling sweets at the thing? I hate strawberry. Oh. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Oh, thank God. 
I think we better go. Okay. Are we just, <laughs> we're just gonna lose another child. Hey, don't go into that road, will ya? Don't want to end up like your brother, Jason. <laughs> oh god. How you do know, we sometimes I remember before? I mean when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Do I have to wait for you? Wait, wait, what? This way. Come on, Dad. What are you doing? I'm coming. Well, where's the exit? Oh, was I meant to like ask him if he's hungry, and then he tells me what's his favourite flavour, and then I get his favourite flavour, and then. Are you following hey, me? Can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Oh, yeah, whatever. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Where do I go? Oh. This, the, the controls. Who do I get? Oh, I get a ticket from this bloke, I take it. Why is there a carousel in a park? That's the dollar. Ugh. You gonna start it or what? Oh, he's having a mental breakdown. happening <gasps> has he killed another person oh oh I nearly got oh I didn't see that oh oh I didn't see that I was I thought that was a cut scene he hasn't killed another has he Sean It's funny. That is funny. <gasps> so, did he have a mental episode? Did he have a breakdown? Oh, as a s what time is it? <gasps> oh my god, is that? He's killed him, isn't he? He's he's killed him by he by mistake. Why not just take the bag with you? Sean! Sean! Is in his room. Sean! He's killed him, isn't he? God. <gasps> He's killed him. You have unlocked a new bonus. Oh, it's that detective again. Okay. I wonder what I've unlocked. He's got little greys on the side of his face. Can I move his face? No, I can't. He's got little greys on the side of his face. I don't know if that means anything. I just don't know about this game. <laughs> 
Oh, am I going to now investigate Sean? Have the police now found Sean? 75, 1.3... What is the inches about? Take long. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. Thanks, Deborah. I, I don't... I don't know... <laughs> What am I looking for? <laughs> He's gonna play. Oh, oh, shake it, shake it, shake. That's pretty cool. His face. People would be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> All right, take him off now. Can I not just get up? Well, well, uh. Oh God, I'm doing this again. Charlene, I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain, Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. It's not a very I good. I to introduce myself before getting <sighs> started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. I don't no, like the captain, out. really. I guess. Oh, could I help you? You're frank the with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press... They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy... Why am I dressing this man? Flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it is none of my business. What the hell is that? No. Of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress. And fast. The press want a perpetrator. And we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Captain's a bit useless, really, if he can't tie a tie. And he's cancelled all of his evening appointments. This captain's useless. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome I'm more interested in catching a serial killer, not what politicians think about me or whatever. Um, who have I got to ask about my office? Is it this woman? Investigation. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. 
You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Nah, you're right. Except just to congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Office. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office. Yes, of course. Follow me. Oh, for God's sake! Where are you going? I bet he's got like the broom closet or something, isn't he? Yep. A dingy little office block. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Ugh. Okay, time to work. Ugh. I think they'd clean it for me, wouldn't they? I don't get what we're doing. Step one, change the office. Um, what? I, don't, I don't know that one. What does this mean? Oh! Oh, that's pretty cool. Can I try them all? Oh, that's cool. You don't want to feel like you're drowning, though, though, do you? That's nice. Just, just nice. Right, what's the last one? Oh no, I don't want to feel like I'm in a barren waste. No, no. No, no, no. I prefer... I think that one. That one. Yep, I prefer that one. Clues, files, environment, map. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. Satellite imagery. Geoanatics. No data for geoanatics. This is so weird. Oh. Just one origami store in town. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Okay. So we've got like the one origami store though. That's a good lead, isn't it? Mm, a common species. That doesn't help much. 
Can you imagine if another officer came in and he was just talking to himself? <laughs> tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Um, clear all for that one. Uh, files. Origami killing victims. Open. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, age between 9 and 13. Oh, they're all boys. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Oh... Analysis. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. All right. Um, select onto the next one. Open. Always the same ritual: an origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Uh, open analysis. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. But does Ethan Mars have a car? No data for Jim. Um, clear all. Environment. Oh, I think environment. What's the matter with him? <gasps> Has he been using it for too long? Here we go again. I gotta go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know. I know I can make it. Oh, is that what you've got to take after using it or something to get your brain back in order? Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, 
Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. Wasn't it about four or five o'clock? Um. Oh God. Four fifteen. Yeah, that's it. Four fifteen. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was oh. wearing a coat. Uh, it was beige, wasn't it? It was beige. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Oh God! What are the pants? Um, brown. Brown pants. He had a black bag. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Because he had a minute episode. Carousel? Can't remember. Stay on bench. Stayed for a little walk. I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8:15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Well, isn't it 24 hours search? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. But go. don't they class someone as missing only overnight. after 24 we'll hours? We have any more questions. Do, do you think the origami killer... Listen. Your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple hours. Yeah, but what but if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, oh, there's your ex. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're going to keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. Is she still wearing a wedding ring? Or should she be married? He's just like, what do I do? <laughs> Is he going to confess? It's like being the origami killer. Reminder, unfold the movement slowly with the right stick. Tuesday, 9.52 p.m. What is the bloody inches about? Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Right, I think, if I'm not doing anything, I think I'm going to leave it there. Right, so thank you so much for joining me, guys. Feel free to like and subscribe, and yes, have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.